Uh, hello friends, so in my previous video I got uh, so many comments that uh, please create a video on how to install Floka. So in this video I will talk about how to install Floka. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, please like my channel and subscribe my channel also. So there are two versions of the Floka. Uh, one is provided by the CERN. This is the, known as the official CERN Floka website. And uh, there is also a version of the Floka which basically provided by INFN. So I work with INFN uh, in Italy. So I will go through this particular link. Uh, so this is provided by INFN. So first you have to click on this link and then go to that website. Then you have to first download the package for the Pluka. So uh, there are several versions, several, several types of uh, packages like one is uh, with the 32 width 64 width but for downloading first you have to click on the download link so when i click on the download link it requires for a uh, floca user id so this is basically you have to first register here then they they will verify your credentials and then they will provide you a floca user id and then the password that will allows you to download so uh, first is you have to register uh, with your institute because this should be official uh, email id if you do with the gmail they will not accept so please use use your institute uh, email id and then first i will register here let's go to the register educational so then you have to just click here you have to select it and then i agree and then I will put my name, Siam, and the last name is Kumar. And then I will put uh, my email ID. And then my company. My institute name. And then area of uh, research, area of interest, I do study and then you just can put anything here. So I select this one. And then Floca experience, uh, intermediate, advanced, okay. And then you have to type the password. So I will type the password, then I have to register it. So now what you will see once you register it then you will see that the uh, registration successful and then you have to wait uh, on your email to get the credentials to download the floca so it basically says i will use the floca for educational purposes and then you have to just wait for uh, to get the credential then you can basically able to download it uh, since I, I already registered for the Floka user ID and I got this Floka user ID on my email. So then in the next step I will go uh, on the download Floka. So for this I have to click on this link and then there is also a link for the commercial user. So I will click on this link and then this takes me in this particular link. And then I have to accept the terms and conditions. So then I will click on the agree and these are the basically packages for to download for the fluka installation so uh, here it basically requirements for example if you want to use this package you have to have uh, like g14 12.2 version 64 bit these are this is the basically requirement and this is basically released on 31st uh, january 2024 uh, so in my case basically I will go through this particular package so Fluka 2023 and then this 64 bit uh, the reason for this is because I have the uh, G14 for 11.4 version so it will it can be easily installed with that version so I will click on this particular link and then it will ask for your username username is basically Floka ID you got it so you have to put this uh, FUID and then your number and then you have to put the password and then you can basically download it so after downloading this particular files for to install the Floka 
now i will also download the floca data files so this is basically data files for floca so i will click on the download and then i will insert my user id and the password and this will allow so this will be required to run the floca simulation so i will explain it how to install the floca in the next step so after downloading the data files and also the floca installation files so what you can do you can put this in the home directory like for example i, I created the, the floca directory in my home directory and then i put all these two files inside the floca directory and the, in the first step what i will do i will just type on the uh, install floca so then i will go to the instruction to install the floca so i will put the, the link of this particular website into the description box so you will click on this website then you will find the instruction instruction how to install with the tar.gz package so for this what you have to f do you have to first untar this file so the command is given here the command is tar minus zxpf and then you have to put the this file name so for example i will do it here tar minus zxpf and then i will type the package name for example Luca 23 and then line x and then it will basically untie the package so you can just see it now you can see many files and this tar file is uh, already there then it is also extracted files and then also i will extract this data files so i will use the same command tar minus z x b f this part the command i remember zxbf okay and then you will put also the data file to extract so it will extract the data file also let's wait till it is extracted uh, in the next step what you have to do you have to set the path so you have to set this flu pro uh, variable flu pro variable so in this way extract sorry export flu pro and the path of fluca is mine fluca directory is this one in my case i created this in my home directory home siam and then fluca okay and then also you have to set the fortran compiler like export flu pro and then you just uh, type flu for and then you can just type g14 and the, in the next step what you have to follow from this instruction you have to just type the make and then it will basically create uh, an executable fluka hp uh, that will be used by the player i will explain how to connect with player so then it basically you just do make and then it will basically install the fluka so uh, now it's compiling it and uh, so let's wait for the compilation and then once it's done then i will do also the flare installation and then i will explain how to use it so now it's done now in the next step but you can also see the fluka hp so there's an executable fluka hp is created uh, since i already installed the fluka following this particular link uh, and you can also see the fluka hp in the in the directory so in the next step uh, i want to run the fluka software so for this i will first install the flare so flare is stands for the fluka advanced interface so i will type on the google install flare and then this is the particular link uh, fluka advanced interface so you can follow this link i will put the link into the description box so first you have to install the requirements so you just go through these all the requirements and then you follow in the ubuntu the uh, the software and then install these particular uh, dependencies uh, in the next step i there are several ways to install this player and there are two packages mainly one is the flare another is the geo viewer geo viewer allows to visualize the geometry so you have to install these two in this case and uh, you can also fo follow this rpm but i prefer this dot uh, dev files because they they can uh, you can install them uh, following a simple command so first i will basically download this particular package 
so flare all that tab now it's downloaded and also i will download the uh, flare geo viewer so now first it is downloaded since i already installed these dependencies and you just can follow these particular instructions uh, so to if you get some error you can put into the comment box then i can try to help there so first i uh, downloaded these packages so next step what i can do sudo dpkg because this is a dev package so you can directly install sudo dpkg minus i and then flare and then i can use this geo viewer so first you can this will install the flare geo viewer and then i can put the password so now flare geo viewer is installed in the next step i can also install this one and uh, i have to type this particular command not your viewer so this is also installed successfully uh, since i already installed the flare and the flare geo viewer uh, so in the next step i will just check the floca so for the run so for this you have to just go to this link install floca there are basically two places you have to set the flu pro variable so export flu pro and then there the directory of your installation for the floca and then the next command you have to also follow the export flu for uh, g equals to g14 so these variable you have to set and uh, since you don't want to set it every time so you can put into the vsrc so what i will do here so i will set these variables for example i already created this command so in the first step i will set export flu pro and then the same command explore flu pro and then the path of my Flocka directory so this will basically add this particular uh, command to my SRC so this command you can basically use it to and in the next step you can also the follow this g14 so you have to set also g14 so this is the command export flu for equals to g14 and then you can just follow this command okay and then enter it will basically add this particular command to your SRC so in the next step what I will do I will just do the source to SRC because I already added the command so now we can go to test floca no. test floca directory I just created a dummy directory in my home directory to test the floca so in the next step what you can do uh, I already created a video uh, so I will put the link, link into the description box how to run the Flocka so it is installed now now you can see everything is installed uh, in the next step what you can do you can start with the loading with a simple file so you can start with the basic I already explained the tutorial so in the next step what i can put here i i don't want to score anything here let's just because i already created a detailed tutorial uh, so you can follow it so just i want to show is it working or not just try the test dot input file and then you can go to geo viewer and then you can go to the run and then i can start so it will run for 10 particles since i put sorry 100 uh, primaries so let's see how it is running so it is basically running out 0 out of 1 so it is it is basically running so so once it's completed uh, here you can add uh, multiple quantities to score by following my previous video I will put uh, into the description box so then you can basically score it let me see it is running it's, it's still running it's 100 primaries it tells us the time 21 seconds so let's wait for the run and 
then it's uh, already 60% completed okay 80% and then basically let uh, it's completed so it's all basically you can see that everything is finished and okay and then you can see in the next uh, so you, you can do in the after that you can just see uh, play and then you can just see here data merging after this data merging and then you can do the process so no files is created because I didn't uh, save any I didn't uh, score anything but you can follow my previous video where I added, added the scoring quantities here then you have the data and you can merge them so that is how this is how you can basically run the full simulation in the Fluka.